Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today we are doing some favorites and I'm going to go I am going to go through my base favorites that I've had now during 2020, 2020 and I usually do my base favorites that I'm going to put them on my face together with you but I'm not going to do that this year because I frankly don't have time to do that and I have actually chosen two per category usually I just choose one but this year I've tried so much new base products I was like it's impossible for me to choose only one for each and every step so I'm going to show you these talk a little bit about them so yeah I think we just get started and I'm going to start with primer and my two absolute favorite primers are these two the first one is a high glass primer from NYX in Moonbeam I really really like this this is a really you look so freaking glowy in your face but I've been really liking this it is a little bit too dry now for me now when I'm a little bit dry because it's winter but I really like this and I think it is a really good primer and you get a really like nice and glowy base so this one is really really good and then this one is a newfound favorite for me. I love this. This is Beauty Act. It's a Swedish brand. Dewy Skin Primer Oil. I don't know why I've had waited so long to buy a primer oil. I just love this. It, it gives a glow to your skin. And it gives so much moisture. So, And I have just been loving this. It is amazing amazing so these are my two favorite primers for this year if we're going into foundations <laughs> i have these two so the first one we can start with is bear with me from nyx their tinted skin wheel this is impale light i think to choose my favorite foundation was like the hardest thing this year but this one i have been loving this so so much it's a really like light coverage and it looks really like skin and it just evens out gives a little, little bit of coverage and it's really really nice yeah so i have been loving this just to have like a neutral more natural <laughs> face so this one it's so so good and the other one is the stay naked from urban decay this I bought in the beginning of the summer, I think, and I've been loving this. I have it on today. It is amazing. I have it in the shade 10N, 10NN, I think it is at least. Yeah. And what I mostly love about this, today I've put it on with a foundation brush and then I get I have a higher coverage. But if I use a sponge, I get a little bit less coverage. And I think that is why I've liked both of these so much this year. Because this is really light coverage and this I can build up. And this is like <laughs> one of the first more expensive foundations I've tried. I have tried the NARS one when NARS was cruelty free. Love that. But this is... Some people talk about this like it's drying. It is not on me. I, okay, I need to have the right primer on there. But this is really, really good. I am so happy that I bought it. My friend Anielka Lidemar has raved about this. So I was like, okay, I want to try an expense, more expensive foundation. And it was between this and Anastasia. I'm so happy that I bought this because I just love it. It works so good for me. The color is really good. And I... I just love this one so this has been a big big favorite and it is amazing my two concealers I have tried a lot of concealers this year to try to find my perfect concealer I think I have found it and it is this one uh, the fresh nude serum concealer from body shop this is it is such a light light coverage and it's really it's not thick, but it's not watery. It is not too thin, and it's it's just amazing. I don't know. I don't think I've heard anyone talk about this. I was in body shop, and I looked 
at the makeup and then I saw this and I swatched it on my hand and I was like, okay, I need that in my life. I love this one. This evens out without laying like a thick layer underneath my eyes. It is amazing. I love it. And I also want to talk a little bit about this concealer. This is from Glossier. It's their stretch concealer. I like this when I just want to cover a little bit under my eyes and not have any other makeup. The only thing I hate is your eye. I don't get it. This I have been using not as much at all at you on YouTube because this, if I have it on, it often affects my mascara. But when I do not have like any other makeup on, I have been loving this. This is so good. It is. It just look like skin. And I don't think when I have had this on that people even have noticed that I have concealer on. So I've been loving this one as well. Not together with any, any other makeup because it doesn't work that good. But it's still been a favorite because if I just look super tired, I can use this. For powder this year. It has only been one powder like I have used and one powder that I love so much. So in powder category, it's just one. And it's uh, this one. This is Nablust Smoothing Pressed Powder. I have it in light. And this... If I... When I read about this, this was not supposed to be for my drier skin. But this is just so amazing. I usually don't like pressed powder, but it's something about this that works so good for me and with like all my foundations I have. I I love this powder. It doesn't feel cakey, it gives it sets the foundations really good. I just have been loving this and I can recommend this even if you don't like pressed powders. This this one. I wonder when I will hit pan in this because I have actually made some progress, I think. So this one, love it. I also want to just talk a little bit about an eyeshadow base. I have been using this one and I've been loving this one. It works with all my shadows. I just love it and that is the Milani eyeshadow primer. I think it was Paulina that talked about this and I bought it and I am in love. This is hands down the best eyeshadow primer I have ever used. I love it. I I don't need to say anything more about that because I just love it. Shall we go into contour? Um, <laughs> there has... I have a lot of contour shades, no, okay, not a lot, but I have a few contour shades that I've been really liking, but this sum in the summer, or in, maybe it was pretty late, maybe it was in like October, September, end of August, I don't know, but then I got this one, and this has been almost the only thing that I've used since this, and I, since then, <laughs> I threw in the Swedish word, this. Um, I have been loving this. This is amazing. And it is the Kaleidos Charisma, Charisma Contra Palette. I have it in cool light. I got this in PR. I use this shade down here. I don't even have want to touch my other contour shades because this one is... It is just amazing. I don't know what it is about it, but it's the only one I want to use. So this has been a super favorite, even though I maybe have it for four months, but I love it. I love it so, so much. And then my absolute favorite blush for this year. This is maybe a little bit cheating because I've taken a blush palette and I'm of course talking about the Moon Prism blush from Lunar Beauty. I love this one. It looks like this and I really been loving Stargaze and Spacey but also the others. I haven't used this Gravity but the other shades, I can recommend this for everybody. This is amazing blushes 
and I don't know what it is with this one. Okay, now I'm going to say something that I don't know <laughs> if I'm 100% sure of, but if I only would keep these blushes, I think I would be okay. This is how much I love this one. I'm using this a lot on YouTube, off YouTube. I love this. <laughs> it was at one point I was like, okay, I can't use it all the time. So I tried to use something else, but I only been thinking about this. So this has been my absolute favorite blush palette of this year. My favorite blushes of this year. And if you see this, I think the pictures online isn't like as amazing as the palette is in real life. You just have to trust me. I I think it looked really good in the viewfinder, like as it look in reality. This is amazing. I, I am so happy that I bought it. I love this one. I think this is going to be a favorite next year as well. And then for highlighters. This has been so hard. So hard. I don't know if I'm sure about this, but I don't think I will be, will ever be 100% sure. I have taken two. We can start with the first that I'm most unsure of, <laughs> and it is one from Kaleidos. I've been really, I have had my Kaleidos highlighters for, it's a little bit over a year maybe. I have been using them a lot more um, the latest couple of months. I There are m many of them that I really love, but I actually think this one is my favorite. This is Diamond Dasher, and this is one of the more neutral highlight. Neutral, it, it's not as chunky as the other one, and this is just so, so good. This has a little bit of a pink, of a pink sheen. I don't know if you can see it. Did you like this? No, I don't know. But this is a little bit more of a pink sheen and I have always been like, I don't like pink highlighters, but I, I love this one. I think this is my favorite from Kaleidos. I, it is just such a good and nice highlighter. And the other highlighter, this I am certain of, I love this, I love I, one of my all-time favorite highlighters is from this brand, but this year I have been loving this one. And it is the Nabla Skin Glazing in Ozone. This was so hard to get, but I got it and I love it. And in this one you can actually see that I have used it, maybe not in the camera, but I, this is so good. And what I love mostly about this and what I love with the other one from Nabla that I really really love that is Baby Glow. You can have this on without any other makeup. You can have it on when you want a really natural base and you can just build it up if you want a more intense glow. And I really love with these or with this one that is like it looks like my skin is just looking amazing. It is such a good highlighter. I understand why these sold out and why they are often sold out, some of the colors. I I love this one. This might take over from Baby Glow, I don't know, but I just love this one and I can recommend Nabla Skin Glazings. And for you out there that is pale as me, Ozone is perfect. I also want, as the last thing in this, talk about two mascaras that I have been really loving this year. We can start with the one that was my favorite last year, and it's worth the hype from NYX. This is an amazing mascara. This is the perfect match for me. I just love it. I have it on today. It is not... I know for some it might don't look amazing, but it gives me the little bit of extra volume that I want and it gives me the extra length I want. It makes my lashes really black and I just love this mascara and it's still hanging in there. And the other one <laughs> that is the cheapest mascara I've ever bought. I 
really 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 love it it holds up really really good but it's not selling in Sweden anymore I don't know if it is discontinued or if it's just in Sweden but it's the essence you better work length the Phoenician mascara this is waterproof I usually don't am a big fan of waterproof mascaras but this one this holds up through everything the only thing with this one that I don't like is mine isn't empty or but it has like dried up when I take it on my lashes it doesn't come any more colors and I have heard that is like pretty common with this one that it stopped working a little bit faster than other mascaras so I'm so sad I wish that I bought more than one I don't know why I didn't do that because in Sweden like in Sweden prices even then it was really really cheap please essence bring this back I want to buy it again because this one one of the best mascaras I have ever tried and you know what that was actually all my base favorites of 2020 I think the hardest thing was to choosing highlighters I think I'm satisfied with my two choices and actually foundation was pretty hard I've tried a lot new foundation this year but I think I actually have found some things this year that is going to stick with me for a long long time and I'm really happy about that I think I might have found some parts of my perfect base and that feels really good so yeah I really hope you like this one it will come of course a eyeshadow palette favorite for this year I haven't recorded it yet and I don't know if I ever will be ready to do it because it's going to be hard it's going to be so so hard I don't even know if I want to do it I know that I want to do it but at the same time I don't know if I really want to do it it's going to be hard but yeah, I really hope that you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. I try to upload each and every day now in December, so I hope that I will see you again all tomorrow. Bye!